Okay, well, I wanted to just put up a quick video showing something I'm working on. Uh, this is uh, crankcase housing for a steel 026. I'm building a, or rebuilding a saw that I had um, here and uh, making a few modifications. Uh, subject to this video, though, is kind of how nice the Valspar tractor paint works. So if, if, you, if you take a look here, this is one of the housings that I stripped down and I'm in the process of repainting it, uh, but you can see how nice it's coming out. I mean, it, it, it's arguably better than the factory finish, I think. And so I just want to put this video up for anyone who's kind of, you know, contemplating uh, restoring their saw, and I'll explain kind of what I did here. So uh, long story with the saw, I won't get into that, um, but, The upshot of it was I, I, I decided I wanted to build a saw from the ground up, and so I took the saw I had all apart, and it was it was kind of a, kind of one of those you know saws where someone else had built it and kind of did a, a sort of a shoddy job on it. Uh, when I when I started cleaning it, I, I noticed their nice paint job just dissolved. And I thought, wow, you know, everything underneath is kind of not as good as I thought it was. So I decided, okay, I'm going to strip this all the way down. So this is a magnesium housing uh, on these older saws. So you gotta be a little bit careful with how you approach magnesium. Um, I didn't want to use a real caustic paint stripper. So the way I did it was I used this stuff, which I got off Amazon. And it's kind of, a, it's kind of an organic paint stripper, I guess, I, I guess you could say. Um, I've used other paint strippers, you know, the, the stuff that you spray, uh, which is highly, you know, chemical kind of paint stripper, and it works great. I didn't want to use that on this uh, project because I was concerned it might dissolve or, or etch into the magnesium. So I use this stuff. Uh, here's what I'll say about this. It, it's a great stripper uh, for paint, but you need to do like three coats of it. Um, I can't tell you how much time I spent stripping the paint off these things. I, I, you know, painted this stuff on, let them sit overnight in the sink, and then, you know, that got a lot of the paint off, and then I had to repeat that process. I think I did it three or four times. Finally got, you know, 99.9% .9 of the paint off. Then I took a little needle and chipped away some of the other paint. It was a long process, but I finally got the housings down to where I felt I could paint them. And I uh, spoke to a buddy of mine who had restored a real nice South Bend lathe. And I was real impressed with, you know, his, the job he did on, on, uh, on painting the lathe. I asked him how he did it. Uh, I also uh, did some searching online. And this seems to be what people kind of agree is the best paint for your, your steel saw. It's the Valspar Tractor Implement uh, Ford Gray. And the trick is to use the enamel hardener. Um, this is eight ounces, which is for one gallon of paint. So um, there's 128 ounces in a gallon. Therefore, this is a 16 to 1 kind of, or 1 to 16 kind of ratio. Um, the way I do it is I, I just take a little, you know, teaspoon. I scoop out 16 uh, scoops of this, and then I just toss in one scoop of this, mix it up. You, you're, if you read the directions, you're supposed to let it sit for 30 minutes, and then you can start painting. I just paint it by hand with these little brushes. And then I put in the oven for 30 minutes at 250 degrees. And then I put it out in the sun to kind of help cure it a little bit. But you can see what a beautiful, that's two coats right there. You can see what a beautiful finish it's producing. And the cool thing about it is when it dries and you put it in the oven, the paint seems like it kind of shrinks. And so it conforms very nicely. So I'm real excited with how that's coming out. Uh, the other thing I want to mention on this project, for anyone interested here, is I made some custom ceramic hybrid bearings. And I wanted to kind of talk about how I did that real quick. 
So you can see these are steel bearings. These are factory bearings, but if you look closely, you can see that there are silicon nitride ceramic um, ball bearings in there. And now there are companies that make these. Uh, there's a company called, uh, I believe it's Dominant Saw. You can find them online and on Instagram. Uh, they sell these bearings. They do, they do a real nice job, kind of similar to what I've done, I believe where they're producing a hybrid uh, ceramic bearing for the chainsaw. Um, this is the, and the reason, I, the reason I did this was to reduce friction and maybe get a little more horsepower out of the saw. And you can see on this one here, this is the side that goes uh, where the oil pump is. There's a, a milled little lip that engages with the oil pump. So, you know, you can't really find a full ceramic bearing. Um, this On this side, this is the, I guess, the flywheel side, you'd say. Uh, I actually did locate a full ceramic bearing uh, on eBay. I don't think I'm going to press this onto the crankshaft. I think I'm going to, I think I feel a little bit better with the metal uh, races with the ceramic uh, ball bearings in there. Anyways, if you want to make your own, you can kind of, it's not actually that hard. Uh, these are silicon nitride bearings I bought off eBay. Um, you, can, you can just kind of, you know, take your, your factory bearing apart and mic the, the ball and then just kind of find the correct size. Um, the way that you, the, way, the trick to doing it is this. If you, if you see this little kind of, first of all, you got to get a, a factory bearing that has the kind of plastic uh, race separator or a ball separator. And that can just be kind of pressed out. I did it with a toothpick very carefully. Once you press it out, all the little ball bearings in there go to one side. And then it gives just enough clearance to where you can pop this center race out. Uh, all the little balls will come out at that point and then you just like I say you can swap them out for the ceramic ones Put them back in space them out and then pop that little uh, Separator back in and, and away you go. So Anyways, I'm looking forward to putting these in I got a new a new crankshaft for the, the saw uh, Like I say the the main kind of point of this uh, video is just to show how nice that valve bar paint worked um, but as I move forward with this project, uh, I got a little bit more painting. You can see on this one, that's, that's just one coat. So that's, the, that's just the first coat, and then I got to go back, you know, with a second coat uh, to get it to look more like that. But for anyone restoring a saw, uh, I thought this video might be helpful. And, uh, of course, the, uh, the ceramic bearing kind of deal here. And if you don't feel like making your own, uh, check out that uh, dominant saw. They, they've got some real cool stuff, and uh, I'll even put a link to them. Uh, in the video so okay well hope that helps uh, if, you, if anyone has any questions as always uh, feel free to post them in the comment section below and uh, thanks a lot for watching